What's your name? Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Jessica. What's yours? John. You speak English very well. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? Sure. It's 5.10 p.m. What did you say? I said it's 5.10 p.m. Thanks. You're welcome. Where are you from? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you speak English? A little. Are you American? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from California. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Meeting a friend. Hello. Hi, Adam. Are you there yet? Yes. I just got off the subway. I'm almost there. Sorry, I'm late. That's no problem. I just wanted to tell you I'm inside. Where are you? On the second floor. Should I come to the second floor, or do you want to come to the first floor? Come upstairs. What? Oh, can you hear me okay? I said, come to the second floor. Oh, okay, what are you doing there? Just looking at some books on how to learn English. Do you want to get something to eat later? No, I'm still full from dinner. What do you want to do? I don't know for sure. When you get here, we'll talk about it. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Introducing a friend. Peter, this is my friend, Mrs. Sandra. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mrs. Smith, what do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Oh, where do you work? New York University Hospital in New York City. What do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you teach? I teach English. Where? At a high school in New Jersey. That's nice. How old are you? I'm 35. I'm hungry. Hi, Robert. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Okay. What do you want to do? I'm hungry. I'd like to eat something. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to an Italian restaurant. What kind of Italian food do you like? I like spaghetti. Do you like spaghetti? No, I do not, but I like pizza. I'm a student. Johnny, what do you do for work? I'm still a student. What school do you go to? Boston University. That's a good school. What do you study? I'm studying English, math, and history. My major is English. How long have you been studying English? More than six years. That's a long time. Yeah, I started to learn English when I was in high school. No wonder your English is so good. Actually, it's not that good I can read, but I can't speak very well. I haven't had a lot of chance to practice. I see. Talking with other people is very important. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here yet. I'm having a party tonight at my apartment. You should come. 
Oh, thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come. Telephone call. Hello, Rachel. This is Maria. I want to return the book I borrowed from you last week. Will you be home at about seven o'clock? Yes, I will. I'll cooking dinner. Oh, well, then I won't come over at seven. Why not? I don't want to disturb you. Don't worry, you won't disturb me. Okay, I'll see you at seven o'clock. Doctor's visit. Hello, Mrs. Olivia. Hi, doctor. How are you feeling? I don't feel good. What's bothering you? I have a stomachache and a headache. Where does it hurt? Here. Do you have a fever? No, I don't think so. Okay, let me look at your throat. Open your mouth. Your throat's red. Does it hurt? Yes, it's sore. When did it start to feel this way? Last week. I think you have a virus. It might be the flu. I'm going to give you a prescription for some medicine. Thank you. Try to get some rest and be sure to drink lots of water and orange juice. Taking a taxi. Hello, Miss. Do you need a taxi? Yes. Do you have any luggage? Just these two suitcases. Okay, I'll put them in the back for you. Where are you going? The Comfort Inn. I think there are two in Boston. Which one are you going to? The one downtown. Is this your first time in Boston? No, I've been here many times. I come here for work all the time. Do you know how long it'll take? It shouldn't take long. Probably about fifteen minutes. Wow! It looks like the traffic is really bad. Yeah, there might be an accident up ahead. Okay, then stop at the next intersection. I'm gonna get out there and take the subway. At the restaurant. This looks like a nice restaurant. Yeah, it is. I come here all the time. Let's sit over there. Okay, now what? Can you pass me a menu, please? Sure. What are you going to have to drink? I'm going to have a glass of beer. How about you? I think I'll have a glass of wine. Do you want to order an appetizer first? Not really. Maybe we can just order some bread. Okay. What are you going to have to eat? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Can you recommend something? Sure. I've had a steak and the lobster before. They're both very good. I think I'll have the lobster. What are you going to have? I'm not that hungry. I think I'm just going to have a salad. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. When the waitress comes back, will you order for me? Sure, no problem. Taking pictures. Excuse me, sir. Will you take a picture of us? Sure. This is a really nice camera. Thanks. My parents gave it to me. How do you use it? You press this button here. Come a little closer. Wait, that's too close. Move a little to the left. Move back a little farther. Okay, stay right there. Do you mean here? Yes, that's good. Oh, I can't get it to work. You need to hold down the button for about three seconds. Okay, I got it. Are you ready? Yes. 
smile. Making a reservation. Hello, can I get some tickets for plays? Yes, is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Rome and Juliet. But it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes. How many tickets do you want? Three, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, there are three seating sections, front, middle, and the back. How much is it in the middle section? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. That's a little too expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. That's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At nine thirty. Thank you. Are you ready? Larry is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at seven thirty. What's the time now? About seven ten. There no hurry. If only takes fifteen minutes by car to get there. I know. But there aren't enough parking spaces around theater. Well, I'd better tell Larry to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. Going to the gym. Kevin, what should we do today? I have been studying all week. I'd like to exercise. Me too. Let's go to the gym. Good idea. What are we going to do there? We can lift weights or play basketball. I like to play basketball. Not really, but I like to play. I used to play a lot when I was in school, but now there's no time. I know what you mean. I used to play soccer a lot. Do you think we can play soccer there? No, there's not enough room. I think it's better if we play outside. Okay, maybe we can go play soccer later this afternoon. It's too cold outside today. Let's wait until the weather gets a little warmer. Okay. Snowing outside. Hey, what have you been doing today? Nothing. Just watching TV. I'm really bored. I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything to do either. I didn't do anything today except clean my house. I know. I was planning to go to the mall today with one of my friends, but it snowed so much we couldn't go anywhere. I hope it snows all night because I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Do you know anyone who has a camera? I want to take a picture of all this snow. No, I don't know anyone who has a camera. Have you seen Sarah today? I think she might have one. No, she hasn't been around all day. She said she had something important to do today. Oh, where did she go? Nobody knows. I called her roommate, and she doesn't know either. Making plans. It's almost Christmas. What are you doing this weekend? Nothing special. Just working. Why do you ask? Well, I still haven't finished my Christmas shopping. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? I'd like to, but I'm not sure if I can. Work has been really busy lately. Why don't we go on Friday instead? Friday's not good. I think the stores will be very crowded, and I have to work. Okay, then let's try to go this weekend. I should know if I can go by Friday. Is it okay if I call you then? Yeah, that's fine.
What's your number? 233-331-8828. Let me give you my email address too. It's albert at mail.com. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bill got fired. Hello. Hi, Walter. Sorry for calling so late. I hope I didn't wake you up. Actually, I was just finishing some work. I haven't gone to bed yet. Did you hear Jacob got fired yesterday? No, I didn't hear that. Are you sure? Yeah, Betty told me this afternoon. She was pretty upset about it. That's too bad. Jacob's a nice guy. Yeah, I know. Why did they fire him? She didn't say. I see. Well, if you talk to Sarah again, tell her there's a job opening at my company. Bill can have an interview this week, if he wants. Oh, thank you so much. I'll call her and tell her. Have you found a girlfriend yet? Juan, have you found a girlfriend yet? No, not yet. What about Helen? She has a boyfriend. Oh, I thought they broke up. No, they're still together. How about that girl from work you were telling me about last year? Who? Kelly. She's married now. She got married last month. I see. It seems like everyone our age is married. Yeah, it's not easy. Is there anyone you're interested in? There is one girl I like who lives in my building. I talk to her a lot because she's also studying English. What's she like? She's really nice. She moved here from Texas about four months ago. What does she do? She's an accountant. That's a good job. She must be really smart. Have you asked her out yet? Actually, we're going to dinner on Friday. Good luck. Paying for dinner. Excuse me. Check, please. Okay, how was everything? Very nice. Thank you. Would you like this to go? Yes. Can you put it in a plastic bag? Sure, no problem. Here you are. That'll be $25. Do you take credit cards? Yes, we accept Visa and MasterCard. Okay, here you are. Thanks. I'll be right back. Okay. Here's your receipt. Thank you. You're welcome. Please come again. Sending a package. Hello, how may I help you? I'd like to send this package to California. Would you like to send it overnight or by regular mail? How much is it to send it overnight? $20. And by regular mail? $12. I'd like it to get there tomorrow. Please fill out this form. When you're finished, come back to this window. Okay, I think I'm done. Is this correct? Yes, that's right. I'd also like to mail this letter. Do you need to buy stamps? Yes. A book of stamps costs $3. So that'll be $23 for everything. Oh, I forgot my wallet in the car. I'll be right back. I brought you an apple. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay. I didn't want to bother you. 
I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh, can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 35 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones at the supermarket? Yeah, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides the apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Can you help me find a few things? I can't find my glasses and I can't see anything. Can you help me find a few things? No problem. What are you looking for? Look. My laptop. Do you... Yes, your laptop is on the chair. You see it? Where's my book? Which one? The dictionary. It's under the table. Where's my pencil? There's a pencil in front of the lamp. That's not a pencil. That's a pen. Oh, sorry. There is a pencil behind the cup. It is. How about my backpack? Do you know where that... It's in between the wall and the bed. Where are my shoes? They're on the left side of the TV. I don't see them. Sorry, I made a mistake. They're on the right side of the TV. Thanks. Oh, and here are your glasses. They were next to your cell phone. I need to do laundry. Hi, Anna. Come in. Wow, your apartment is a mess. I know. I didn't have time to put things away before you got here. Look. Are those all your clothes on the couch? Yes. Are they clean? Actually, most of them are dirty. I haven't done laundry in a while. I usually wait until I can do it at my parents' house. My sister and I usually go to the laundromat down the street. Why don't you go there? I know I should, but that place isn't very convenient. You have to wait for a long time. Yes, I know. I have to do it every week. Anyway, are you ready to go? No, I'm not ready yet. I still have to brush my teeth and wash my face. Can you wait for a few minutes? Okay, but please hurry. I think the restaurant is closing soon. Traffic rules. Excuse me. May I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within four days. But, but why? You were speeding. But I was only doing 60. There's a 50 kilometers h speed limit on this road. Is there? I didn't see the sign. Well, we've been following you. So you were doing 60, too? No, we were doing 80 kilometers h, and we couldn't catch you. A date. What are you so happy about? You're grinning from ear to ear. Anna and I are going to go out this weekend. Oh, yeah. That's so fast. Great. Which night are you going to see her Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. She isn't in town on Sunday. She's going to visit a friend in Melbourne. What are you going to do on Saturday? I don't know yet. Do you have any ideas? How about taking her out to an Italian restaurant? I've heard that she likes Italian food. That's a good idea. What are you going to wear on your date? I'm going to wear my new suit.
That's too formal. Wear your jeans and a t-shirt. How about your new coat? Are you going to wear it Saturday night? No, I haven't decided. Go ahead and wear it. Buying a plane ticket. Next, please. Hello. How can I help you? I'd like to buy a ticket to New York. Would you like one way or round trip? Round trip. When will you be leaving? When does the next plane leave? In about three hours. I'd like a ticket for that flight, please. First class or coach? Coach. Okay, let me check availability. I'm sorry. Tickets for that flight are sold out. How about the one after that? Let me see. Yes, that one still has seats available. Would you like me to reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. That'll be $130. Okay. Thank you. Here's your change. Asking about location. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Holiday Inn. Do you know where it is? Sure. It's down this street on the left. Is it far from here? No, it's not far. How far is it? About a mile and a half. How long does it take to get there? Five minutes or so. Is it close to the subway station? Yes, it's very close. The subway station is next to the hotel. You can walk there. Thanks a lot. I ate at the hotel. Hi, Elisa. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes, I ate at the hotel with my son and my husband. Oh, they have good food there. What did you have? I had some cereal, fried eggs and orange juice. How was it? The food didn't taste very good, and actually I don't feel very well now. That's too bad. Do you want to take a break? No, I'm going to go back to the hotel at lunchtime to lie down. Okay. I'm going to the drugstore later. Is there anything I can get for you? No, that's okay. I think if I rest for a little while, I'll feel better. Finding a convenience store. Thomas, where's the closest ATM? It's not that far. Do you see that yellow building over there? The big one or the small one? The big one. Yes. It's right next to it, on the right. Do you know if there's a convenience store around here? I don't think there's one around here. The closest one is on 5RD Street, but that's probably closed now. I really need to get some things before I leave. Well, you could go down to 32nd Street. There are a lot of stores down there that are open 24 hours a day. Can I take the subway to get there? Yes, but that'll probably take about half an hour. You should just take a cab. Won't that be expensive? No, from here I think it's only about $6. I'm getting fat. Wow, I'm really getting fat. You don't look fat. Yes. But I am. I've gained 10 pounds in the last two months. Look at my stomach. How much do you weigh? I think about 170 pounds. What kind of foods do you eat? I usually have pasta for dinner. Sometimes I get takeout or fast food if I don't have enough time to cook. I was reading a diet book the other day. It said that if you eat meat and nothing else, you'll lose weight quickly. Wow, 
Does that work? I don't know, but someone told me they tried it and lost 20 pounds. That sounds good, but I'm not sure how long I could do that. I know, once you start eating vegetables and bread again, you'll probably start gaining weight. Well, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Who's the author? I can't remember. It's not that popular anymore. When I get home, I'll check and give you a call. Nervous about surgery. Hi, Emily. You look upset. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just a little nervous. Is everything all right? Well, I'm having surgery tomorrow on my finger. What's wrong with your finger? I broke it the other day playing basketball. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's been bothering me since that day. Are you afraid of having surgery? Yes. I have never had surgery before. I wouldn't worry. I had to have surgery on my leg last year. Everything went fine. Were you nervous before the surgery? A little. Who's your doctor? Dr. Jason. Oh, I've heard he's really good. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Good. That makes me feel much better. The supermarket is closed. Lauren, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want to come with me? I think the supermarket is closed now. Oh, when does it close? It closes at 7 o'clock on Sundays. That's too bad. Don't worry, we can go tomorrow morning. It opens at 8 o'clock. All right. What do you want to do now? Let's take a walk for a half an hour. My sister will get here at about 8.30 p.m. and then we can all go out to dinner. Where does she live? She lives in San Francisco. How long has she lived there? I think she's lived there for about 10 years. That's a long time. Where did she live before that? San Diego. Asking directions. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Linda. What's up? I'm looking for the airport. Can you tell me how to get there? No, sorry. I don't know. I think I can take the subway to the airport. Do you know where the subway is? Sure, it's over there. Where? I don't see it. Across the street. Oh, I see it now. Thanks. No problem. Do you know if there's a restroom around here? Yes, there's one here. It's in the store. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Mail. Hey, Melissa, did you get the mail yet? Yes. I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up any time. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure, when? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay? Do you have any children? Charles, do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids. A boy and a girl. 
How old are they? Amy is 19 and Roy is 23. Are they in school? Amy is. She goes to college in Washington and Roy works in Florida. What does Stephanie study? She studies English. Is she here now? No, she's at school. Do you want something to drink? David, would you like something to eat? No, I'm full. Do you want something to drink? Yes, I'd like some coffee. Sorry, I don't have any coffee. That's okay, I'll have a glass of water. A small glass, or a big one? Small, please. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Common questions. James, do you know how to speak English? Yes. Where did you learn? I learned in college. You speak really well. Thank you. How long have you been in the U.S.? Three weeks. Is your wife with you? Yes, she just got here yesterday. Have you been to California before? No, I have never been there. Have you ever been to Las Vegas? Yes. I went there once on a business trip. Computer problems. Hi, Johnny. Sorry to bother you. I have a question for you. Okay, what's up? I've been having a problem with my computer. I know you're an engineer, so I thought you might be able to help me. I see. What's the problem? I have a file that I can't open for some reason. What type of file is it? It's a Word document I've been working on. I need to finish it by tomorrow. Were you able to open it before on the computer you're using now? Yes, I was working on it last night and everything was fine, but this morning I couldn't open the file. Do you think your computer might have a virus? No, I checked and there weren't any. Okay, I'm not sure what's wrong. If it's possible, email the file to me and I'll see if I can get it to open. Okay, I'll do that when I get home. Are you going to be around tonight? Yeah, I'll be home after 8 p.m. Send it to me when you get a chance and I'll call you later. I lost my wallet. Hey, how's it going? Not good. I lost my wallet. Oh, that's too bad. Was it stolen? No, I think it came out of my pocket when I was in the taxi. Is there anything I can do? Can I borrow some money? Sure. How much do you need? About sixty dollars. That's no problem. Thanks. I'll pay you back on Friday. That'll be fine. Here you are. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some books and then I'm going to the gas station. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Okay, I'll wait for you. A romantic story. Betty, are you and John still dating? Yeah, things are going really good. Where did you meet him? I met him at the library a couple of weeks ago. We were sitting at the same table and he asked to borrow my pen. Wow, that's a nice story. I was telling Jim about it the other day. He thought it was pretty romantic. Do you two have plans for tonight? Yes. I think we're going to rent a movie. Have you seen anything good lately? 
I saw Spider-Man the other day. I've heard that's a really funny movie. Are you kidding? That movie's not funny. It's sad. I was crying at the end. You're really sensitive, aren't you? I guess so. Maybe that's why I can't find a girlfriend. A house at the shore. When is your vacation? It starts next week. I'm really looking forward to those days off. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you know how to swim? Not really. I haven't attended any swimming courses. Then, why do you choose to go the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. What? Just that? Really? Yep, and we are also interested in enjoying the atmosphere of the sea there. Making a hotel reservation. Hello, Marriott Hotel. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment. Okay. For what date? July twelfth. How many nights will you be staying? Two nights. What's the room rate? Seventy dollars a night plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. Your name? Jennifer. Miss Jennifer, how will you be paying? Visa. Card number, please. Three thousand eight hundred and sixty-eight, eight thousand three hundred and seventy-six, zero three four three, twenty-seven thousand six hundred and forty-nine. Expiration date? January second, two thousand twenty-five. Okay, you are all set. We'll see you on the twenty-fifth. I changed my mind. Kevin. What would you like to do? I don't know. Maybe watch TV. That's a good idea. We're going shopping later, so I think you should rest for a while. I don't think I want to go anymore. What do you mean? I thought you said we were going shopping. I know, but I changed my mind. I'm too tired. Well, I still have a lot of stuff to buy. When do you think we'll go? Maybe tonight. Okay. Would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have signal. Are you kidding? I usually have really good reception here. My phone is very old and it doesn't work very well. What if I take it outside? Yes, that's fine. It works well outside. Do you know how to get downtown? Hi, George. Do you know how to get downtown? Sure. Why are you going there? I want to buy a new computer. Okay. Are you driving? Yes. Go straight down this road. When you get to the second light, take a left, then get on the highway and take exit 52. That sounds really complicated. Can you tell me again? Which road do I take first? You go down this road, then at the second light, turn left. That road is Main Street. Okay, I think I've got it now. Why are you buying a new computer anyway? Didn't you just get one a few months ago? Yes, but it doesn't work anymore. Where did you buy it? A T Mart. I think your computer should still be under warranty. You can bring it back to them, and they'll fix it for free. I think you're right. I didn't think about that. I should go talk to them about it. Where is the closest T Mart? It's about two blocks from here. 
I have to go there to get some stuff now anyway. Do you want to follow me? Sure. Birthday present. Cheryl, come in. Happy birthday. Thanks. I can't believe you remembered that. Well, I have a calendar in my computer. It helps me remember things like that. What are you up to? I'm reading a book my cousin gave me for my birthday. Let me see. Oh, I have this book at home. I want to give you a present too. Wow, it's a guitar. I already have one, but I like this one better. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you know how to play the guitar? Yeah, I know how to play. My father taught me when I was young. Will you play it now? I want to listen to some music. Okay, do you know this one? Yeah, I've heard that one. I could sing that song when I was in middle school. It's an old one. It makes me feel old. When I was in college, they used to play it on the radio all the time. New apartment. Hello. Hey, Jack. What's up? I haven't talked to you in a long time. What's been happening? Well, I don't know if you heard. I just moved into a new apartment in BS. No, I heard you were thinking about moving, but I didn't know you'd already found a place. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Do you have any roommates? No, not this time. It's a big change for me because I've never lived alone. Don't you think you'll be lonely? Not really. I have two friends who live in the same building. We all had dinner together last night. Are they students also? No, they're not students. But there are a lot of students living in the building. Sounds like a nice place. Yeah, I think it's a good environment for learning English. Well, I'm glad to hear everything worked out. You should come out here and visit me sometime. There's even a pool. That would be nice. I'll think about it. Shopping for a friend. I'm going shopping. Do you want to come? I thought you went shopping yesterday. I did. But an old friend called me last night and invited me to his birthday party. I need to buy a gift for him. I see. What are you going to get him? I really have no idea what he likes. I haven't seen him in a long time. What do you think? Maybe a cake. Well, that's a good idea. But I think I should probably get him something else. Like something he can wear. How about a sweater? I saw a really nice one in the mall the other day. Maybe we can go there and take a look. Okay. What store was it in? It was at Macy's. I think they're having a sale this weekend. Oh, that's a really nice store. I like the clothes there. Send me the direction. Hello. Hi, Vincent. It's Sharon. Hey, Sharon. What's up? Not much. Where are you? I'm in the car driving home. When you get home, will you send me an email with directions to the party tonight? Sure. No problem. When do you think you'll get home? I don't know. Maybe in about thirty minutes or so. There's a lot of traffic. I have to go out soon. Can you just send me a text message with the address instead? Okay, I'll do that as soon as I get home. Thanks a lot. Drive carefully. Okay, I'll see you tonight. 
ไป Do you know the address? Excuse me. Do you know how to get to the mall? Sure. I used to work there. Go straight for about a mile, then turn left at the light. The mall will be on the right. Do you know the address? Yes, the address is 326 Main Street. Can you write it down for me, please? No problem. Is it faster if I take Highland Avenue? No, that way is longer. There are more stoplights on that street. I think you're right. Thank you. Bad cell phone reception. Hello. Hi, Lauren. It's Brian again. What time do you think you'll get to the party tonight? Sorry, what did you say? Hello, can you hear me? I said, what time do you think you'll be getting to the party? Sorry, I can't hear you. I have very good can. No, not very clearly. It's really noisy here. Can you hear me now? It might be my cell phone. I don't think I have very. Oh, that's okay. Can I call you right back? Okay. It's beginning to snow. Do you like snow? No, I hate it most. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but it makes driving more difficult. You know, I don't want to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. Oh no, I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About twelve inches, they say. Oh no, driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? Of course. Here's the key. Keep it well, please. I will. Don't worry. Thanks so much. <laughs>